Hey, it's GED question of the daytime. Looks like we've got some algebra going on again. Um, and then just these pretty boring directions. It says simplify. So just a reminder, oh, simplify is a kind of generic word in math class that means to um, obey the operands that you see, the, um, the operation symbols like add, subtract, multiply, divide, um, as much as possible. <clears throat> Um, and then stop when you've done as much as you can. I mean, literally, <laughs> that's what it means. Um, so that being said, um, you can see that there's some different things being indicated in this problem. Hopefully you can see that there's some subtraction. There's some addition. And because these two parentheses are shoved together like this, there's a multiplication going on. So there's a lot in this problem. However, we don't have to do all that. We don't have to do all that. Even though we see all those symbols, we're not going to have to do all that. Why? Um, there's a real reason why. If you take a look, um, order, usually order of operations tells us to start inside of parentheses. But if you look at this parentheses, 3x plus 1, I can't do that addition. Hello? 3x and plain old 1, those aren't like terms. Um, One's an x and one's a regular number. They won't go together. Same thing here, 2x minus 4. I can't do that subtraction. I can only add and subtract like terms. Uh, and so, since I can't do the addition and subtraction, my only option is to do the multiplication. And some of you guys have recognized that this is a multiplying binomials problem. Um, and so you might know that shortcut method that teachers teach to remember at FOIL. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I want to just show you that you don't have to know a whole lot about math to know how multiplication works. So I'm going to come over here and instead of doing 2x minus 4 uh, times 3x plus 1, I want to remind you something about 24 times 31. Back in the day, since we've been doing math, if we were to multiply a two-digit number times a two-digit number, something really interesting would happen. The first interesting thing that would happen is that I would pass out my 1. My 1 would multiply by everything in 24. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Then I would pass out the 3 from the 30. And, yeah, I would put a 0 there because I know that I'm not really multiplying by 3. I'm multiplying by 30, so I want my numbers to start in my tens column. But 3 times 4 is 12, and I carry, and 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. And what I want you to realize is that uh, always, since the beginning of time when we were doing math, we would pass out the digits, uh, pass out the multiplication. Well, I don't care how hard your math gets. The rules of multiplication and division are, they're still basically the exact same rules. So you're going to notice here that I have two terms in this first parenthesis, and I have two terms in this second parenthesis. It's very similar to multiplying a two-digit number by a two-digit number. I am going to pass things out. I will first start with the 2x, and I will multiply the 2x by every term in the second parentheses. So let's try that. 2x times 3x. Well, 2 times 2 is 6, and x times x is 2x's multiplying, or x squared. Good. Now let's pass the 2x out to the positive 1. 2 times positive 1 is positive 2, and there was just 1x, so I get positive 2x. Of course I get positive 2x when I multiply positive 2x by 1. <laughs> now let's pick up a different color so you can see it. Now just like before, after I finished passing out the first number, I'd move on to pass out the second number. So after I finish passing out 2x's, I'll pass out negative 4. So negative 4 times 3x will give me negative 12x. And negative 4 times positive 1 will give me negative 1. And then just like um, back in the day when you used to take the two answers that you got and add them together, I'm going to do my addition here. Now, the way we talk about addition and subtraction in algebra is we say we are going to combine like terms. And so that's what I'll do. Any terms that can add and subtract, I'll add and subtract. Just like before, I would add my ones, my ones with my ones my tens with my tens, and if there was just 100, it would just be, you know, there would be nothing to add it with. Same thing here. I'm going to add my x squareds with any other x squareds. Well, I don't see any other x squareds, so 6x squareds. I'm going to add my x's with any other x's. So if I have 
positive 2x, I can add that with negative 12x. So if I have 2x's, positive 2, but then I owe you 12x's, uh, I start paying off the, the 2 that I have, I start paying down my debt, I will still be in debt by 10. 10 what? x's. I was adding and subtracting x's. And there's nothing to combine. This is the only plain old number, so it'll just drop negative 4. And I'm done. That's the final answer. 6x squared minus 10x minus 4. Wonderful. Um, this um, is process is known as multiplying binomials. So if you want to look up more examples, you can. Otherwise, if you have any other questions, uh, make sure you drop them in the comments, and I'd be happy to answer them for you.